feeling great after getting that first touchdown catch tonight. Just take us through that moment. What was that like for you? Uh, it was very exciting, you know, first touchdown as a Cowboy, you know, for us to help us put a point on the board, but it's all started off with our O-line, you know, we can't start doing anything without them. They held up time for our quarterback to make a pass like that, and then Spence gave me trust, had trust in me and made a play. How comfortable do you feel in that X receiver position now that you moved over to that for this game? Uh, I'm pretty comfortable. I mean, anywhere that coach want to put me, I'm, I'm going to have to learn it real quick and, you know, play my game and play how he want me to play. Basically, he always have trust in me. So, you know, I'm pretty comfortable where I'm at and anywhere he want to put me, I'll, I'll make it work. It sounds like maybe you found the, the right spot for you, but each game it seems your reps are going up, targeted more. What, do you, what to you has felt like the reason that you kind of uh, become a bigger part of the offense? Just because, like I said, uh, I know a lot of, I know the whole offense system. So, like, it gives me more opportunities to make, like, be in the game more and longer. I mean, that's how it is with everybody else, too. So, if you know the offense more, then it's better for our coach to know that he can trust you because you know, you know the whole offense and you know what's going on on the field. Blair, coincidence that the touchdown kind of comes with hang, hanging out with Justin Blackman at all? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, no, not really. I mean, I mean, I'm glad that he came and visited. It was real shocking that he came and surprised us. You know, it's good to see somebody, you know, a legend from Oklahoma State come and basically support us and give us motivation before the game and everything. Do you ever watch him, Justin, much? Yeah, I did. I used to watch him a lot. Even played on, played with him on NCAA 14, Madden. I used to use him a lot. He's a great receiver. Justin, Rick Gundy talked Monday. Talked a little bit about what he remembered about the recruiting. Um, sounds like you weren't highly recruited. And, uh, take us back through how all that and how you landed at OSU. Uh, recruitment, I mean, it was a slow process, but, you know, it just takes time with that. You just got to stay positive at all costs. And then, you know, I mean, they stayed in touch with me since, like, my sophomore year of high school. So they just been in and out. And, I mean, they've been trying to get me up here to come to camp so they can offer me and everything. But, I mean, I couldn't make it due to depth and everything. But, I mean, I just stayed patient, you know. And then whenever they came to visit to my high school to see me in person, you know, that's when everything started to make it happen. And that's when they offered me. Rashad, how do you feel Spencer played tonight? Uh, I think he pre he played pretty good. I mean, you know, we all we ain't gonna put uh, mistakes on him. I mean, it's a whole offensive team. You know, it's all of us at one. But I mean, he played he played pretty good in my opinion. I'm pretty sure our offense can say the same. He played balls to the wall every play, so I mean, he did pretty good. What kind of how much does it help to have somebody like Tay out there when you're, you know he's getting a lot of reps and you're also kind of becoming a consistent force on the offense? Oh, uh, it's helpful a lot because he, you know, he's a he's a veteran guy. He's a senior. He knows it all. He knows what the system would be like. He knows what the college feeling and games would be like because he's been here for a minute. But you know, it's very you know he stayed positive with us. He communicates with us. You know, he tells us what we can work on. He helps us with a lot of things. But you know, having him as a teammate is really a blessing because he helps us a lot. <laughs> Shot back that recruiting thing. You didn't visit Oklahoma State? Oh uh, no, I didn't. How, I, how difficult is that in the recruiting process to commit to a school when you actually don't visit? I mean, I, people had to go through that recently because of COVID, but yeah. you're in a different situation. Uh, I mean, Oklahoma State has always been one of my dream schools. So, I mean, you know, having them, you know, talk to me is always it was very exciting when I was getting recruited too. So, I mean, you know, I always had my head up there with Oklahoma State, you know. Even though I didn't visit, I just knew, like, you know, they system, you know, they love passing. You know, the coach Dunn, the receiver coach and OC, you know, he produces receivers in the league. And me looking up forward to, like, Dez Bryant, Justin Blackman, James Washington, and everybody else, it just, like, impacted me more about, you know, where I wanted to be. Had Coach Dunn ultimately seeked you out, or had you, you know, contacted OSU and, you know, provided, you know, huddle videos or what did it, what, how, how, how ultimately the, the first connection come about? Uh, the first connection came through Coach Richmond, the D-line coach. He first came to visit our school because that's his, that's his area when he was recruiting. And then, you know, he came back. Then I guess he told Dunn and Dunn, you know, he stayed in contact with me and everything. And then, like, when I, you know, post my highlight videos or whatever, you know, he'll text me. He'd be like, why, you know, why ain't take this play off? Why ain't blocking this dude? You know, he basically coached me up trying to basically, you know, get me ready for the next level, you know, because in college, you know, there's no plays you can take off. You got to be lost in the water every play.